don't i'm sure i could talk about it now because it's so far gone and i don't even know if like i've never seen the finished product i don't know oh, really? where they exist uh they had like little vignettes that they filmed yeah um they did one for uh like matt justice and yeah. then they did one i think they were like the ones that they finished were all for like matthew justice or something yeah but the, i did one that was um it was it, me and Calvin Couture just showed up unannounced, by the way. We were just told, like, you can show up and get money if you put if you like become an extra. That's, and we were like, bet, and that, did so. That sounds like a lot of how this promotion was. That's exactly yeah. what it was. Yeah. Um, so we showed up. It was like the scariest middle of nowhere school. Like you could not put a gun to my head and tell me where this was. Mm -hmm. I do not know where we went. But uh, we had to put on like druid costumes mm -hmm. and like stand around the ring, mm -hmm. and um, in the school. And this wasn't out in the woods. Oh no, this was in. There was the second day was out in the woods. Right. I didn't go to that one because I uh, I had seen enough after the first day. <laughs> um, because what happened? They did the thing where it was like. Everything was filmed. Everything was good. We all basically just wore cloaks and druid costumes. I'd like to see it because you can probably just see my tiny ass in the middle of all these, like, druids. Like, it probably doesn't look right. Yeah. But there was a point where everyone had to throw chairs in the ring onto Matthew Justice. Mm -hmm. um, I hope it was caught on camera. But um, I th went to throw a chair into the ring, and it hit the top rope and came back and hit me. Uh, and I have never no sold something harder in my life. I <laughs> panic no sold. I was just like, oh, no, no, go. Like I was, but the nice thing is I w was a druid so and no I one would have ever known. I found this video. I think this Wait, is it. it. Is it? Is this scene Yes. Familiar? Oh my God. Yes. This is exactly it. So they, they showed Oh my God. This. Tom Dunn was there. I want to ah. tell you, they showed this during, like at the live show during Holy the pay-per-view, like after his match. <laughs> I've was, never seen this in my life. Which is so weird. I was paid $20 to be in this. And so, so <laughs> this is, and I think there's, there's a shorter version of that this. That they sent to me like a month later. <laughs> so, so this is the, like there's a full match. It's the Join the Cult episode two, and I think they showed a, an abbreviated version of this later in the show, which is weird since the guy just won the cup thing that yeah. did whatever, and oh he my rejected. God. I can't believe that video and he exists. It was Pinhead a part of this? Ah, uh, he was. Yes, he was. He was the dark I mean, was, priest or something. Yeah, like right, that? but but was he at the, this shoot at, uh, for uh, this? I don't. I don't think. I don't think so. No, so I don't they, think Pinhead was there. So, didn't they crucify him and slit yeah. his throat or something? Yeah, they, they, yeah that was no, much no, no, later no. on. They crucified a guy. Uh, uh, Ravina. I know him. Yeah, we, uh, Ravina. I, I am aware of him too. I saw him at the gathering, and then they actually did a show up here. Oh, no, we were you were there that night when they were doing their show. Yeah, up here. no, he's <laughs> so, he's like such a cool dude, but he yeah. does a lot of like the crazy like yeah. body mod stuff. So I guess like they found him, and they were like. Uh, would you do this? And he's like, he yeah, was doing he, when they were doing the PCO th things where they were like cutting him and stuff. Like that he was, was there. Yeah, that was he was the guy doing it mm -hmm. to him, right? Because he, they knew he could do it safely. Yeah. yeah. So he has like a band, and he does like like during the set, he like hangs from chains and stuff. Yeah. He and also like uh helps people that get into like uh like when people that like hang by the hooks and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, he does that with people as well. Yeah. So like yeah, that's what yeah. in the gathering they would just have like a, a, a time where they'd just come out and do their swinging and stunts and, and yes. fire breathing while swinging and yeah, stuff. Him it and was his wife. it They're was crazy. like the this is the shit I go to the gathering and for is like I want to see some shit that I don't see every day. Yeah, I want to see some fire breathers things. and this and midget strippers and it's crazy. I love and that. that's the gathering and that's why I fucking go cuz I'm just like I just want to go see some wild shit. Yeah. And 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 be around Juggalos and watch them do wild shit, I, and and that's it. I still and can't believe wrestling. you found that and video. And there's wrestling, yeah. I so can't believe here that it video. is. So there's your this is oh this Jesus. is the moment. This is it. That was the end of it. It fades Wait, out. Wait, one of these is me. One of I d I can't tell you. That one looks tiny. <laughs> one of them is also <laughs> Megan Myers. <laughs> of course. So I don't. I'm not worried about a takedown notice for this one. Uh, uh, I so, mean, if they so yeah, come they're in you. a ring. There's druids, and they're just like tearing. They're doing the nexus thing. It's, it's appropriate this week. They're tearing the ring apart. They're pulling <laughs> off. They're, I, the, they're basically the ring crew. 
The fans are loving it. I have such a weird, they look familiar. Like, vague memory of this. Yeah. There were like three fans there that they tried to make look like a lot. And so, I was like, this is going to look so stupid. So it looks like a typical indie show in West Virginia. I was going to say, it looks yeah. like a show in 2021. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it looks exactly like that. I think I just got footage from this show. They're I all know. very social distance. Yeah. Ugh, it's great. It's... Ryan's like uh, I, Ryan's like I remember this show. Yeah, literally. I, I paid for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? can, you believe well, they, can you believe they charged twenty bucks? I, I, yeah. You know, there was a time where I thought you know Black Craft Wrestling was going to be fun. Oh yeah, it was. I mean, I was really shit faced at the Pittsburgh show. Like I'm, I'm talking like stupidly shit faced where I was heckling our friends as I was sitting. Oh in the my crowd. god! Yeah, I remember seeing <laughs> you in the front row. Oh yeah. Dude, I, I was heckling the shit well, out I mean, of everybody. Well, I mean, if the other shows look like that, I don't think it matters what row you were sitting in. But I will say, will be heard. if you go back and look at the cards for those shows, They're nuts. they aged like fucking milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there are so many people on those cards that you're like, never want to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. those cards <laughs> aged yeah. like milk. Yeah, it's like... Okay, <laughs> my big question about the Blackcraft thing is, does anybody know if that cameraman fucking died when he fell? We don't room? know. Like I, we've we I we had a long I have multiple conversations with Matt Light about this. He's like, I don't know what happened to that Wait, guy. Wait, what happened? They're at the okay, so the first black oh god, we're going, going so off stuff. At the first black craft show that was here in Pittsburgh, it's at the Priory over on the north side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is this crazy church like building. It yeah. was amazing. And and like and mm. they had they guys I like listen, listen, I we, we know one of the guys involved. He he was involved with in our promotion here, and I kept asking him, I was like, Do you need help? Like, do you need a camera guy or something? You know, just be like, like, seriously, do you need help with this? Because I remember what you did before. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm just like, I'm, th you know, I'm thinking like how, uh, you know, I don't have an idea of the scale of this thing yet that they're doing all these shoots like, you, yeah. you know, you were doing at that point. So I show up and I see a, a, a full on TV production truck and I'm like, well, that's why I didn't get an answer. You're okay, like, well. I guess I'm out of, <laughs> nope, I'm just the local guy. Okay. Um, so they're doing this and they have like a camera guy on the side on like a scaffolding. Mm -hmm. and, they're doing and this was over by the the door over on by the, the left. one door um mm -hmm. and 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 uh and th i think it like maybe the f you know, no it was the first actual match because they had a couple like maybe two or three um pre-show matches that were live and then they went to the pay-per-view and it was the four-way which i think was the one where g raver jumped off of the uh it, yeah it was a four-way ladder match with matt justice g raver um, g ravered G raver G ravered off of the balcony and they yeah. missed and they missed it live on the pay-per-view but unrelated Aww. so there was like some they, they did hit the replay or whatever um they they there was some big spot ladder thing and then you hear another slam and then I look over and like there's no camera guy and the and the <gasps> camera is just like dangling oh my god you know it's one of those big production those big TV cameras what a sick and visual and it though. was just like what the fuck just happened and we're like looking over and like and then you see a couple guys rush but they're like kind of coming in the side door and then like somebody went to climb up and like try to man the camera yes. and then like a, like a cop or a security there was like no like do not fucking go up there again like like it was, was waving them back down so they had like no Yo, he was abducted camera. by aliens. And we're like, what happened to this dude? Is he alive? Is he okay? He wasn't a young guy, you know? It was like, no. you know, so... He like, was abducted like, by aliens. And that is the biggest mystery out of all the mysteries of Blackcraft <laughs> Wrestling. That's so funny. Is what, oh my like, God. we're just like, Well, it's oh, not funny. I hope he's okay. They did but... this <laughs> shit at WrestleMania <laughs> and this, and they lost all this money and, and, and whatever, and, and, and then it's like... Yeah, but what happened to that fucking camera guy? <laughs> yeah, like from your first show. Yeah. Like that's what I want to know because that's was never seen again. Like, I'm like, I'm like, did somebody literally get sacrificed for your fucking company? Legit. I don't know, right? <laughs> so that's Dude, why like... it went so wrong because like the universe was just like atone for your sins. Listen, man. Listen, man. I and and and, and I, I I find myself moderately religious, but you know, uh, I will not. I think it's great marketing uh, to have a a. a uh, wrestling is real god is fake shirt but i wouldn't i don't feel comfortable with that um although i love i love the idea of the shirt but i'm just saying when when you have that and then um somebody actually has a horrible accident during your show maybe yeah. it's a sign not <laughs> like a like of course they had like horrible accidents but yes. when you have like a horrible accident like a legitimate something bad happens yes. we went from somebody legitimately falling from a scaffolding and disappearing apparently and then they went yo so, next show let's slit a dude's throat this yes. so you guys you know are what's saying gonna be that, sick? That someone should have said i've got a bad feeling about this 
Yeah. And I got to say, mm. and, and, and I, I'm so glad I dodged this bullet, but I was asked to film. Oh, Jesus. And, and if I would have said yes and didn't have another job that weekend on the other side of the country, You'd be screwed. I would have been filming Black Craft Wrestling. But what a fun guy story guy that would be, sir. On, that, on WrestleMania weekend at the infamous show. Like, what a I, fun story that would be. Dot, dot, oh, I, I would have quit wrestling after that experience from Me the too, sounds honestly. of it. I think that would be like, no, I'm Me done. Too. Like, that whole show was I just was, infamous. Like, I think the wildest part was, like, being, like, actively, like, texted in real time. With, what was like, happening? What was happening. Oh, wow. People are like, yo this dude was just we're kicked out like this guy literally still has his gear on people yeah, like had yeah. to leave like people like were like leaving with their boots like half yeah. laced because they the, were like you need to get the out. fans i know the fans were trying to help run the court for to get the pay-per-view going like they Woof. were like fans were passing the court over for stuff and everything so like it was wild, wild. that's one of those shows that it's like if you ever feel like you've done something in wrestling that didn't go great, <laughs> at least it didn't go like that. At least it wasn't on that sort of stage, right? Yeah. Like, if like, you think that you absolutely shit the bed, yeah, yeah, you didn't. Like, listen, we've all made mistakes. Like, I do. I make mistakes every Tuesday, um, but you know. <laughs> But then you're just like, did I make like that scale of a mistake? But it's okay because I, we can all make fun of them shitting the bed Listen. and being terrible. Because do you know how rich they are? They still have so much. Yeah, that's money. right too. That's I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> well, not like yeah, like yeah, like that guy is doing okay. Yeah, I'm like, like I wish y'all the best. It yeah. sucks that that happened, but also but, you shit the bed. <laughs> yeah, but everything working for them, you know, like like you know, Matt and 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 and, and other people were just like, I, I thought, I, you know, this is yeah. gonna be a no, thing. No, it, so. it really sucks for people yeah. that thought that they were getting like a possible like sustainable yeah work yeah. environment because yeah. i feel like that is really what it was growing towards because it was such a high production and value. how many people like you know uh, you know victor we mentioned earlier he was in a prominent thing there and was getting yeah. showcased and i think it was one of maybe the first mm -hmm. things and he was he was in, he was getting into a show a uh, thing with uh the the singer from the band that they showcased right like half of the people there were there for the band for that yeah. first night Dude, you know those shows are so fun i love going to shows where people i the uh like lvac shows that they do in like upstate pennsylvania and stuff like that near philly it's uh, like those shows it's literally like dudes uh like come in to watch a punk band but there just happens to be wrestling before and like those shows are so fun that's where i wrestled in a match with orange cassidy nice and half those people it was like either they were there because orange cassidy was there or there was a punk band afterwards and no one had any idea what was going on but it was so fun i and there was some uh vow first one i went to they had like some metal uh not yeah like like black metal band that played on intermission and half the crowd was like i'm here for sabu and i don't know what the fuck is going on over there you know so and then <laughs> and then you know like like it, it, it's always you know a weird you know mix i actually know? was recently having this conversation again completely not in the direction we should be going probably but um do you have a weird sabu story do I? Because I feel like everyone has a weird Sabu story. Do I story. have a weird Sabu story? Um, I feel like everyone that's breathed near professional wrestling I mean, has um, a strange I don't Sabu know about story. it. I mean, there was in a Sabu match, I believe. I have I have weird stories about shows that Sabu were on, was on. Yeah, me okay. too. I've, I ha I remember the first time I heard Sabu talk. Oh, yeah, that's me out. So terrifying. So for, for me, it, well, okay, wait, no, I do have some stories. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you. First like, of all, it's so they did a uh, Mad Ma Madman Pondo school, where it's usually just him doing hardcore shit to people. Um, and, and and they had, like, you know, like people that wanted to be wrestlers or probably were a little bit trained or something would go try out kind of for them. It was at the gathering. And there would be a panel of a few guys and be like, you know, Pondo and somebody and somebody. And like Sabu was on there and he was just like talking. And I'm like, the what the fuck <laughs> is this? You know, it's like, what, 2002 or three at that point? And I'm like, what do you mean Sabu talks? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what's exactly. happening here? Yeah. You know, it was like, I know we're completely exposing the business over here, but Sabu ain't supposed to talk, you know? So that's, I <laughs> honestly, it's one of those things where, like, when you first hear him talk, that's the first time you realize that you've never heard Sabu yes! talk. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, Bill Alfonso ain't here. What's going on? Um, oh. The other thing is, uh, I went to the Arnold Classic 
Um, we <laughs> I went with uh, Matt Carlin's when he worked for somebody else, and uh, we were filming some stuff for TV, for local TV here. And we interviewed uh, several members of the NXT roster at the time. So Corey Graves, Claudio was there. God, Claudio. Uh, Cesaro was there. Um, he was injured at the time. Uh, Baron Corbin, um, Alexa Bliss. Uh, and it was like that thing where like NXT was happening over here in this corner of the conference. So we're walking around. And I'm just like walking. I'm just like, that's fucking Sabu in his suit. And like it his is- and his like lady. God, what was she wearing? It was like some wild like like pink shit and it was just like it, i don't know you ever seen his like his like girlfriend or something Super genie? um is that it yeah yeah and it was just like it was just a wild sight yeah i think he was like in this like crazy like not a suit but it was like like pin like it was like plaid almost if i remember it, it, it's just i don't know i'm a little foggy on this it was a what weird a memorable weekend. human being I, I, yeah and just like what the fuck did i that, yeah. that just walked by sabu <laughs> so, yeah. and and I, I just i i don't i don't know i'm sorry that's that is i love that yeah well we, we, we've gone off the rails well anyway uh anyways let's get to some business 